the 2026 World Cup venue schedule was released. What was announced over the weekend was that two CFL venues will represent Canada when we welcome the world in two years, still two years away, even though I feel like I've heard so much about uh, the World Cup. I never thought I'd see uh, FIFA president and Drake chopping it up, but here we are in 2024. Uh, in 2026, we will have six host matches at BMO Field, including Canada's tournament opener. And then we go to the West Coast as Canada's two remaining group stage games are in Vancouver. They will host seven total matches, including uh, the second and third group stage matches for Canada, and hopefully more if we get out of the group. March, there's some really beautiful cities across our country. Mm-hmm. We know Toronto and Vancouver will certainly do us proud in terms of hosting. But what other CFL city and venue would you have chosen to host a World Cup match? First of all, I love the idea of the world having to go to New Jersey for the World Cup final. It's a good thing you said New Jersey, not New York. Yeah, yeah. Because people get very upset. I'm a Bills fan, and Josh Allen... Anybody who follows the Bills knows that whenever they say, you know, Josh, are you proud to be, you know, one of the the best teams right now in New York? Do you kind of own? He goes, there's only one team that plays in New York, right? That's right. That's, that's the whole deal. So, uh, but I do love the world having to go to New Jersey and MetLife and all the rest. Uh, slightly concerned that the turf at MetLife. I don't know what they're if they're going to replace or if Aaron Rodgers is going to lead to an impetus for any sort of evolution. But putting the world's best footballers on the MetLife turf after watching Aaron Rodgers' Achilles explode. Uh, concerning. Yeah, well... Don't love that. I, I mean, thankfully, FIFA said it doesn't matter where, there will be no turf, and that you will have grass yes. for all said games. They don't do it for the Women's World Cup, but for the men... That's crazy. Uh, certainly, yeah. it's all going to be grass. Yeah. Anyway, the, the answer to your question, uh, I have seen a variety of different friendlies. I remember seeing Canada... Uh, the Canadian women against England at Tim Hortons Field. I believe that was actually one of the first events that they hosted down there. Um, but it was it was an amazing venue to be able to see that in Hamilton, and people came out and supported it, as you would expect. Uh, the one that jumps out to me, I want to say Commonwealth, because we all saw the men's national team play at Commonwealth in the qualifier, in the cold, and all the rest. And it was this kind of like magical. And But, man, it's hard to create that closeness, that on-top-of-you environment at Commonwealth, just because of the distance from the seats to the field. And when I was thinking about that, and then I was like, well, I uh, I don't know if it's a size requirement thing or if it would be able to fit or what, but like Ottawa's pretty special. Like Ottawa as a, when you're talking about the nation's capital and being able to see whether it's, you know, Canada being involved in it or not, if we're going to be kind of a true national representation of what we have for stadiums, I love that stadium. I, I just think it, it creates such a great environment. And yes, you can always have the south side, north side conversation and all the rest for Red Blacks fans. But I just think that that stadium lends itself to an incredible environment. Not the BMO doesn't, not the BC place doesn't, the places that got selected for this. Uh, but I mean, between that and the news of, of the Big O apparently getting the old $876 million roof renovation uh, being reported, it kind of makes you wonder like, what would be the real truest representation of what Canadian stadiums are for a world-class event like that? And I feel like Ottawa is one of my favorites to visit just because it brings the energy because of that all-encompassing kind of situation. Great call by you. So I was the SAT student who eliminated the wrong answers first and then was like, okay, how many are left? I'm just going to guess at this point. And so I, I apply that same methodology with this exercise. One, Calgary, you're out. Like, until we get a Sorry, yes, new yes. up-to-date stadium, uh, love you, but no chance. Montreal, love you. Love the multi-language aspect mm-hmm. that you would provide. It's just too small, right? Unless you're going big O, which means indoors, which I don't think necessarily is ideal, especially, you know, in the summer. So uh, Montreal, out process of elimination. Hamilton, I like, and there's great World Cup moments uh, in terms of qualifying for the men. Their stadium would do a great job. I would love the visuals of people with World Cup tickets trying to park on people's lawns, <laughs> like what that looks like and what the markup would be for the World Cup. Right? It's, oh, man. It's, it's like 10 for a, a CPL game. It's 20 for a CFL game. Like what? what's the World Cup? Like a 50? Give me the red yes. bill and yeah. then you're good? Well, I would say somebody who obviously went to both Grey Cups that were in Hamilton – 
they know how to mark up for large events when they know that people want to be close to the stadium. That markup would be real if that was nailed. But the visuals of that would be incredible. Yeah, it's... Like the flags on the cars and people walking over in all of their country's colors. And it, it would look like a, a multinational parade down Balsam. Yeah. And just, you know, people getting their Polish sausages when they're tailgating, <laughs> right? Like, I'm here for all of it. Don't think that's going to happen just in terms of proximity a little too close to another host venue in Toronto. Would love Saskatchewan. Would love oh, the yeah. vision. Like, you know, can we get some melon heads in the crowd and whatnot? The biggest issue, though, is hotel vacancy. Mm. It's an issue in terms of the Great Cup. Yep. You know, we've had in the past cheerleaders staying at army barracks. So when you talk about bringing two teams, their fan bases, all the officials, the media, I think that is a, a bit of a question mark. Edmonton has a long history in terms of hosting soccer. You mentioned uh, Commonwealth, some big moments on the men's and women's side. But in the end, I landed where you did with Ottawa. First of all, I'm a TV person, so I'm just thinking of the production. Yeah. The beautiful shots of the canal, shots of Parliament, and shots of people in the market getting their beaver tails. Like I love the production aspect of that, but that that area in terms of activations parties oh, you're, you're set up perfectly i'd argue you might be set up better than the, the two you know host sites that we already have and it's the nation's capital like how often do you have a huge sporting event in a country and there isn't something going on in the actual capital so from that standpoint i would throw uh, ottawa in there so it was has been a great host site for the Grey Cup. Uh, I'd imagine if they were doing a World Cup or another big event as they come, uh, it would be a great spot as well. <laughs>